Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you exactly how to approve a temporary hold. As you can see on the screen, temporary hold approved. Your ad account is now active and you can run ads again. We may place initial authorizations on your payment method when you run ads in the future. Now, many of you have had similar problems. And then I made I, I indicated the procedures you need to follow in my earlier videos on how to solve this problem. But some of you will say that you have followed the procedure and then you couldn't get a solution. So I'm just trying to take uh, to, 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 to take take you through how to get this issue resolved. So I will explain to you all the, the, the reasons why this temporary whole or case and when you follow the procedures to the end uh, your temporary whole problem will be resolved so now as you can see if i click on done you see the problem has vanished so there is no longer temporary hole unsuccessful okay so if that is the case what exactly is causing it and why and and what do we need to do to resolve it if you scroll down, you will see, let me just go to payment activity. Okay. So initially, this is a new advertising account. We just started to run ads. And then we were told to they have placed temporary hold on it. We should approve it. Now, uh, temporary hold on successful is when Facebook tries to check whether you have enough money on your ad account to be able to pay for the few days that the following at least some of the few days you will run the advert what i mean is let's say you are running an advert for one week they will try to check as if your whatever your budget is do you have money that can run for at least some two or three days there is no specific amount that they will charge anytime you may see it could be um it, it could be it could be for three days, the, the three days of your budget, it could be two days, it could be one week. You will not know whichever amount they will charge. But what you should do is always come to your payment activity. When you check on your payment activity below here, you may see some transactions. When you see some transactions here, it means that whatever amount you see, most of the time it may fail. Let me just show you a typical example on a different advertising account here. we we'll go to a different advertising account. So here, when you scroll down and you check the payment activity, uh, you may see that there were some temporary hold. They tried to deduct certain amounts of money here and it failed. So the amount that you always see here, that is the amount they were trying to hold. They wanted to check from your bank. They are not even deducting. They just want to find out whether you have in you have up to that amount of money on your account. And unfortunately, when they try and it fails, then they will say temporary hold unsuccessful. And you will have to um, make sure that, so these are how to solve it. Number one, make sure that the amount that you see here that they try to deduct and it fails, you should have enough money in your debit card. So for example, if they are trying to deduct $2, make sure that you have more than $2 in your account. You should even have more than two times that. If they are trying to deduct hundred dollars, make sure you have more than two times hundred dollars, or at least more than hundred dollars. Okay. Then, in some, for some of you, the your other account currency may be in a different currency from what your bank account currency is. So, in that case, still make sure that you uh, calculate exchange rate charges into the cap, uh, into the amount you are supposed to pay, so that uh, it will take care of any um extra charges because some of you maybe your other account currency is in us dollars and your your um your bank currency is in let's say um canadian dollars and so because you you, you just use a certain exchange rate you are thinking that for 100 us dollars they were trying to hold maybe you have maybe 150 Canadian dollars or 130 Canadian dollars, that would be equivalent to the 100 US dollars. But in some cases, because of the exchange rate charges, the money you have in your account may not be up to what they are trying to hold. So you have to make sure you top up your bank so that when they try to hold, it will be successful. Now, if you have more money, for some of you, you even have more than two times what they are trying to hold, but it's still not 
successful. So for example, there was one of my clients, the person had uh, $10,000 in the account and they are trying to hold $100 and it's not successful. And this is, this is really crazy. It doesn't make any sense. It's very upset. So in that case, what do you do? Change the debit card. If you change the debit card, it may work. So they will say update payment method. Just click on update payment method and add another debit card. And it still doesn't work. Then what you should do is that um, you contact Facebook live chat support. How do you contact Facebook live chat support? I've done a video on how to contact Facebook live chat support. You can check the link above or the link in the description and you'll be able to contact Facebook live chat support and they will help you. Lastly, if you do that and it doesn't work, please, um, in some cases, you may even need to contact me even before contacting Facebook Live Chat Support because most of the time, some of you will try to contact them and you may not even get them. You will, They may not even give you any concrete solution. And I'll be able to help you. You can check the link in the description. There's a WhatsApp link in the description you can follow to contact me. There's also um, a website link in the description you can follow to go to our website to see a range of the services that we offer. You can WhatsApp us and book for a Zoom meeting so that we help you solve your problem whatever problem that you have we can help you to get a solution yeah that is it now also we may also show you how to create a new advertising account and then you can continue to run the ads and which, whichever be the case um let's hear from you thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell for more other powerful videos like this once again see you in the next video bye bye